Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Are you not able to connect your PC to Wi-Fi? Don't worry, because in this video I'll cover a range of solutions from simple troubleshooting steps to more advanced methods so that you can get back online without any issues. Let's go. The first thing you should try is running the troubleshooter application. It's a quick and easy way to fix common network problems. To run the troubleshooter, Right-click the Start button and select Settings. Click System option, then select Troubleshoot in the right side panel. Finally, choose Other Troubleshooters from the options. When you see Network and Internet option, click the Run button next to it. This will trigger the Troubleshooter application to start checking your network settings for any issues. Once it's finished, it will show you a list of all the problems it found or it will tell you that it didn't find any problems with your network. If the troubleshooter didn't fix your problem, you can try other troubleshooting steps. In case the Wi-Fi option is still not showing in Windows, one possible cause is that the Wi-Fi adapter is disabled. To check this, press the Windows and R keys to open the Run dialog box. This small window allows you to open applications, files, and folders by typing in their names or paths. Type in ncpa.cpl and click OK to immediately redirect you to the Network Connections window. Here, you should find your Wi-Fi adapter in the list. If it is disabled, right-click on it and select Enable. But if it is already enabled, try disabling and re-enabling it again after a few seconds. Resetting it can fix any minor problems that may be causing the Wi-Fi option to not be displayed. If you've tried enabling your Wi-Fi adapter and it's still not showing, you can try performing a network reset. This will remove and reinstall the network adapters and reset other networking components to their default settings. To do a network reset, go to Settings and click on the Network and Internet tab. Scroll down and choose the Advanced Network Settings. At the More Settings section, select Network Reset. Click the Reset Now button and then confirm the action. Once the reset is complete, your Wi-Fi connection should be restored. However, you may need to reinstall and reconfigure other networking devices and software after the reset. If you've tried the previous troubleshooting methods and your Wi-Fi is still not working, there are still a few other things you can try. One option is to check the WLAN Auto Config service. This is a built-in Windows service that automatically manages the connection to wireless networks, making it easy to connect to and stay connected to your preferred network. To check if this service is running, open the Services app in the Start menu. Scroll down until you find the WLAN Auto Config service and right-click it. Then select Properties and make sure its service status is already running. If it's not, you should click the Start button. Also. In the Startup Type drop-down, the selected type should be automatic. Then apply those changes and then select OK to confirm it. If that doesn't work, updating your network drivers may be the solution. Outdated drivers can often cause problems with Wi-Fi connectivity, so it's always a good idea to keep them up to date. Open the Device Manager, expand the Network Adapters section, and find your Wi-Fi adapter. Right-click on it and select Update Driver. Then select your preferred way to update the drivers. Once Windows has successfully updated it, check if this has fixed your issue. If updating network drivers doesn't fix your Wi-Fi issue, try uninstalling them to clear corrupted or outdated files and install the latest compatible drivers. Return to the Device Manager window and go to Network Adapters section. Right-click again on your Wi-Fi adapter and Uninstall Device. Hit the Uninstall button to confirm. Once the adapter is uninstalled, click on Action in the toolbar and run Scan for Hardware Changes. Windows will scan for missing but connected devices and reinstall the necessary drivers. You may need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. In addition to updating network drivers, you can also try resetting your network settings manually by running some commands in Command Prompt. This will reset TCP IP, DHCP, and other network settings to their default values, which can often fix Wi-Fi issues. To use Command Prompt, 
Press the Windows key and the X key at the same time to open the WinX menu. Then click on Terminal Admin. If ever prompted by User Account Control, just select Yes to proceed to the terminal. In the Windows Terminal window, type the following commands in the given order, pressing Enter after each command. If you've tried all the other troubleshooting steps and you're still having Wi-Fi problems, you can try checking for Windows 11 updates, as it is sometimes caused by software bugs on your computer. Installing latest Windows 11 updates can often fix these issues. To check for latest updates, press both the Windows and the I keys to open Settings. Then click on Windows Update in the left pane. Select Check for Updates, and this will trigger Windows to look for new updates. After checking for the latest updates, go to Advanced Options and select Optional Updates. Click Driver Updates to view all the available updates. Select any update from your system and click Download and Install. Then restart your PC to apply the changes. If the problem persists, you can consider going back to a previous version of Windows 11. This is particularly useful if the Wi-Fi connectivity issue occurs after performing an upgrade. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.